you're welcome back to your favorite show the league of the Jimmy, the only show on the planet where we have a conversation that gives you information about the important but often ignored uh, subject of counterfeits today we're going to do matters tea we have about four billion cups of tea served every single day meaning that half the world population or almost everybody is taking a cup of tea the problem is that tea the favorite beverage that we take is also counterfeited so today we're going to have a discussion about counterfacing tea and to help us deepen our understanding and knowledge about the subject uh, we have visited Muyenga here in the suburbs of Kampala right in the center of Muyenga at a place called House of Instant I am privileged to have here the director uh, Lillian uh, you'll be telling us about yourself uh, as you can see we are right in her tea shop um, and she has been kind enough to serve us with uh, some tea. Uh, Lillian, you're welcome to the program. Hello, viewers. Lillian is my name. Okay, Lillian, this show um, is the only show of its kind. It is the only one that tackles the subject of counterfeits in products, in services, in mannerisms, in anything. And um, for those who do not know you, uh, it would be interesting to find out who are you and, and why should anybody be listening to you about tea? I'm a tea lover. My name is Lillian, as I said before. And I Lillian love teas. Mugwaneza. Mugwaneza. Okay. Yeah. And I love teas. I love not only teas, but I love herbal teas, organic teas, <coughs> natural. I'm, I'm a person who li believes in natural things. So that's why I'm more of the teas. That's why you see they are more about like uh, 40 different teas. 40 different teas. Yeah. And, uh, I, I'm we so have impressed. Uh, can somebody give me uh, the tin? The, just get me one of those tins. Mm -hmm. I have not seen tea. I'm used to tea being packed uh, in some paper bag. Yes. Um, so as, as we look at this, can you, tell, can you tell the viewers what you are doing here and, and why do you have to pack your tea like this? We preserve the teas by packing the teas like this. Does it, it keeps the temperature, it moisture out, the moisture, the, you see the lightening of, of uh, that's why we put like a window of it mm -hmm. to show the kind of tea it is so that you don't, we don't keep on opening and it, it preserves also the tea. This thing is made specially for the teas, for keeping the teas. We again is putting the teas in like in bags, in paper bags, in uh, any artificial thing. That's why these things are So, are so are you saying that to, to keep the quality of mm. tea, packaging is... It's important. Extremely it's important. It's very, very important. So that's why we move like we, we believe to keep these teas in these different uh, materials. But, but Lillian, th this looks exotic. It, it is. It's not our Ugandan uh, kind of thing. What's your exposure with, with this tea business? Have you learnt your... Your, your trade from here or have you done it from abroad? I've, I've done the research. The team will fall. It back. First of all, the business. For how long have you been in the tea business? One year. It's, uh, we're going to be one year in... Uh, this particular shop? Yes. You but started during COVID? We started during COVID. Mm. And why we picked interest in uh, during the COVID was because of the way people were into organic, like herbals, they are telling us to what teas we should drink, lemongrass. We are telling us to drink, uh, uh, how is it called? The, the ginger, the cranberry, the, cranberry, the fruits. So yeah. that's why we picked and said, okay, why don't we make uh, go in teas whereby <coughs> it's natural and people will take, instead of going and mix any concoction the way they have been mixing, they mix something that is really done the research on because people are getting the ulcers. They're getting uh, sick because of those teas they are mixing, which they didn't have the knowledge of it. So we say, let's uh, do the research of the teas and what teas we should be drinking. That's why some teas are mostly our, nap our natural herbs we use here. Teas. So your tea, <coughs> what I'm hearing is that you're making tea mm. out of other things other than tea leaves. Because we, for us, we understand tea to be from tea leaves. We make in, in fruits. We make in tea from flowers, fruits. What yes. fruits? like uh, cranberry, for example, cranberry. 
This is this is the one here. You, if you can see it, zoom it inside. This is a cranberry tea. People are used of having cranberries in juices. I think you've had so many. Oh, of so of. so you have tea leaves, and then you add. We add the, the the plants and the fruits and the flowers, and the roots. Even we have so many teas with the roots, which are good also. Like uh, yeah, we'll be showing you so, some. So so basically, teas. what House of Instant is doing is to add value and enrich the tea. You 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 you're not keeping the tea in its normal traditional setting that we buy in the supermarket. You are no. getting the tea plus, plus something. The, yeah. And why are you doing that? What is the benefit of that? The normal teas, for example, that is in the supermarkets we use of having, they have the expiring date, which is like, it should not be more than two, two weeks, example, for example. And tea expires? It, it expires. And what it, is the, the expiry way it, it, shelf no, life of tea on it average? Ex it expires. It depends the way you keep it. That's what determines the, the expiring date. If, for example, this tea which are, are kept in the way they Let's kept, use this one. You can see mm. it has a vacuum, what is this, a seal. The seal, yeah. Okay? It is, as if, it is as if you want to control the air circulation inside. Exactly. So are you saying that for tea, for us to not to have counterfeit tea, mm. even we must store it in a vacuum, the air proper, doesn't go in. Which is really, really covered well Sealed. because you see this one, you use force to really open it and close it. That's why these ones, the way we've, uh, we've said that our shop, we don't allow people to go on opening the teas, the tins to smell in. That's why we made this one for smelling because it absorbs the air. It, I mean, the, so the, when we open tea at home, our yeah. grannies and at home, you know, they remove the tea, yeah, the tea, you put some in the kettle and you keep it there. I still have tea. Are you saying that I, I will have a fake at the end of a certain exactly. period? Exactly. Within two weeks, it, not even when it's opened, we it take like four days. Then it will be like the way you call it. It fake. loses the aroma. Everything. And the You're just taking like uh, water that is not clean even by taking that open tea. And it absorbs also the bacteria, the, the, the fumes, the, if you have a perfume and it's in an open place, that tea will smell like perfume. Or, or because any the soap, tea sucks the fragrances. It sucks everything around it. But there are there's some teas which have, because my research on, on adulteration and counterfeiting in tea, mm. it also includes adding fragrance, adding something to the tea. Actually, that is called tea doping. Mm. Like you add something to it. So you're saying these teas that we we take which have fragrance, that is, that is not... It's not tea. That's why we put, with, in our tea we mix the real fruits. If it's like one cranberry, we put real fruit of cranberry. And once you open it, you, put, you infuse the, the tea in, like with the cranberry, it will be a real fruit. That's why you put the, the pineapple, the mango, everything that is real. The lemon. The lemon, the lemongrass. It's the, because those people who put those fragrances, because they want to like capture or get that, that fragrance of, to attract of the us. cranberry. Mm. But it's not the real cranberry. So, but but for now, us, Lillian, mm. we have the market flooded with counterfeits. Yeah. Where do you get your tea from? Do you have like a special garden at home where you grow your tea to ensure that it is... Uh, and not uh, um, contaminated or anything. Where do you get the tea from? I pick the teas all over the world. I make my. That's why I do my research and. Uh, all over the world. All over the world. You the import this tea? No, in the in a way I pick them. I pick the best. I g bring them, freeze them, clean them, freeze and dry. We do freeze and dry. But the person who is in charge of like. Uh, Cleaning and doing everything is a person who's been in tea for over 100 years. It's a generation to generation of teas. You he have a the, partner? He, yes, he's, an, he's knowledgeable about the teas. A he's Ugandan? A, yes, he's a Ugandan. But uh, not living here, of course. But he's, uh, in, in, he's done his okay, research. Okay, so, so you have he's a done. protocol that you follow yeah. on the handling of the tea. Of the so tea. are you saying that a lot of the counterfeits in tea comes through the mishandling? Exactly, and, uh, and not being knowledgeable about that, what you're doing. Tea, from, from my experience, mm. is, um, is uh, a crop that has a lot of pests and, and requires a lot of uh, chemicals to mm. keep those pests away. 
is your tea organic or it's you, organic. you use chemicals? That, that's why we say we, we want only organic teas that don't like don't they don't spray, they don't use any chemicals. That's why you say if it's a fruit, it should be a fruit. If it's uh, like uh, natural ways of handling that it should be like that. We don't believe in in spraying, putting chemicals, doing anything that is going to harm our health. So as somebody in the tea business, do you think there is a counterfeit problem in teas generally on the market? And how does it present? Do we have a problem? Or we shouldn't be worried, we should just take what is there? I think we should be worried and uh, people should know what they are taking. You should do, we should do our research, in fact, before you take, you just take any tea, you should know what kind of tea you're taking, if it's safe for your health, because so many people are getting sick. Because okay, we don't have time to research, everything. we have Lillian here. <laughs> you give us the research, the world is yes. listening to you. Yeah. Any precautions that, that you would like to share with us mm. in dealing with teas, what, what do I look out for? Because there's a lot of... Uh, um, you see in the packaging, yeah. somebody can come That's and package something and say this is a green tea, mm -hmm. this is a Chinese tea, whereas it is not. How can we secure ourselves with, with this very favorite beverage? Does it matter who you buy from? Should we just go and buy from anywhere? I think it should, be, you should, it should matter where you're buying your teas from and uh, knowing what kind of tea you're, you're putting in your mouth. Like that's... Like the way we presented it, I will show you what makes, like, know that this is real and this is not real. We can open and uh, I show you okay. about... I, uh, this, first of all, your pot looks uh, quite uh, interesting. Mm. This is from where? Very nice pot. And it has something in the middle. We are used to throwing our pot in the, uh, our tea in the cup. And why must you keep the tea somewhere and... I should not be taking the raw leaves in my tea. No, it, is that what it, you're this saying? is just to to the way it should be infused because this tea it should not it should not be more than 100 degrees. For example, you should not boil it. You should not get these teas and put in the saucepan and uh, start boiling. But that's it. how we grew up no. boiling tea. <laughs> no, because you're killing everything in it. This tea it has to be like 70 degrees of, of the the hot the water should be that hot. It should not be boiling water. You are then, telling the viewers yeah. that don't put in the pot like we do uh, at home or in the village. And boil And then you and boil to 100 boiling. degrees no, and no, then no, you no, go no, serving. No. So no, what will I be serving? You're serving nothing. You're, you've destroyed everything already. You've killed everything. But how come by, nobody by told it. us this? Yeah, maybe Show us how you need... infuse. Can you demonstrate here? I need to put some tea. So you have your pot here. And it has a sieve inside where the, the teas are going to be kept. It should not be in contact with water. Oh, this is too much. Uh, um. So we are talking about counterfeits in tea. But what I'm learning from here is that even before you complain about the tea being fake, just how you handle it exactly. is enough to... To, to make you have a fake Our tea. hands are full of bacteria, so that's so, why you always put the... But we usually the put uh, the tea here and then you put no, it in no, the pot. No, 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 no. Then that you, is wrong. You're serving the bacteria already. It's already contaminated by putting the... using your bare hands. That's Maybe I'm... Um, that, that tea, we should call it bacteria tea. <laughs> bacteria tea. Which... <laughs> it has some bacteria. And then you... So, it must be clean. It must be the clean. Tea Preparation is a clean exercise. It's clean, the way it's kept, the way it's prepared, the way everything around tea, it should be clean. Because it's food. It's something you're going to, uh, to put in your mouth. But I can so as well just wash? No, it's not enough. I must have something like you this? You must have, because even if you wash, there are those bacteria you cannot just keep by washing your hands. So that's why you have to put on gloves. Oh. And, uh, okay, and so I want to make some tea. Yes. Can, can I... And how much tea do I put? Which tea am I going to make? I want to teach the viewers how to make some tea here. Can I choose a tea? You're going to maybe you can infuse this one. Pleasant, organic pleasant times tea. So there is tea also to make me happy. And if I'm sad, I take yes, a certain tea. It's, uh, so one for happiness. Which one? It's, this it's, one. Uh, yeah, that one stops anxiety. It's good if for I anxiety. take this one, I'll laugh the whole night. No, or? no, no. But you'll be like uh, calm in a way if you have a busy job like you. You need to take something that will Give calm me your spoon. mind. Okay, so what do we have in here? Because I can see, this doesn't look like tea. It it's, those are seeds. Fruits, seeds of what? F seeds of, 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 of plants. 
there are seeds inside there, there are, there are some uh, fruits inside there, there are some plants inside there, there is uh, it's uh, called flowers. Pleasant. If we are drinking flowers. Yes. Flowers are, are, are for Passion birds. flower is it's it's a it's a it's a flower, but it's also it's good. Chamomile is a flower, but it's so you can see there are some flowers there. So I put how much? You can put, put two spoons. Two full spoons. Yes, those are two grams. Teaspoon. One spoon. Yes. So I'm putting it in the. Put one more because it's a big pot. Good. I put two. Yes, please. Okay. So I'm going to prepare my first um, flower tea. Flower uh, tea. Pleasant times tea. Okay. Ah. So yes, I need to close. Me. You're yes, saying with the tea, close immediately. Yes. To avoid the air going in. Yeah. I pour the tea right in the middle. Yes. Ah, I'm a tea boy now. Okay. Do I need to fill? Yeah, fill it. And, uh... You see these guys of Marwa, how they pour also. Yeah. In the thing, this... Hmm? Okay. So and I now have my, you have hmm. to time it for four minutes or three minutes at most. Why this is a timer. This is a timer. So the things have to go down. Yes. That will be four minutes. That will be four minutes. But I can also use my watch. What exactly? It's so in this way, I can avoid a counterfeit in the tea preparation. Yes. So we should not just be concerned about the tea we buy, but also how we make it. Yes, and how long you're going to keep that tea, how it's kept. That, that's also the most important thing. How the tea is kept, how the tea is prepared, how the tea is handled exactly. That's what is and, the and most And what important. you're saying mm. is that this is all Those organic. Are, this is this from is here. This is all organic, and mm. the, some are from here and some are not from here. Like there are some seeds which we cannot grow here, some fruits which we cannot grow so here. So the mixing is done from here or you have a small factory? No, here. The mixing is, everything is done from here. So, so yours is a cottage industry. Not everybody can access no. this. No, that's why we, put so, we have put so much knowledge in it. And uh, it's so, like that tea is a mixture of like four or five uh, different herbs in it. So, uh, and, uh, and it's, it's herbals, it's... Uh, Fruits, it's uh, plants, it's uh, seeds, and everything is combined together. That's why it's more for the relaxing, it's more for the detoxing, it's more for digestion. Lillian, we need to take a break and mm. we we'll talk about the health benefits and health dangers of taking the wrong or right tea. Welcome back to the second segment of this special edition of the league of the genuine we are talking about counterface in tea what i am discovering here we are in the house of instant uh, in Yenga. they have special teas that uh, that they make here what i've just discovered and i need to share with you is that tea is not only faked in the factories or in the gardens where it's it's produced you can also fake your own tea you can actually counterfeit your own tea in the manner in which you prepare and, and consume it. And we have been told here by uh, our special guest uh, Lillian of House of Instant that tea needs to be brewed actually, needs to be infused. infused uh, and you yeah. do not just put the leaves into the kettle and cook. You will actually lose out everything. I have just, she gave me something here. She says that you infuse the tea for four minutes, meaning that the four minutes are over because mm. everything is now down and the tea that I have just brewed here. Lillian, what is it again? It's this is called uh, organic teas and times. This is called organic tea, but it doesn't just come from tea leaves. It comes from flowers. It comes from roots. It comes from seeds. From seeds. Yeah. Okay. So I'm going to have a serving of this organic tea. As Lillian, you prepare to share with us the health benefits uh, of tea because um, we have uh, uh, seen the Japanese, the Chinese, uh, I think we even have Chinese tea. Yeah. They are taking a lot of these things and they live for so long and so on. Can you take us through the health benefits of, of the different teas? Mm. Maybe I give you a chance to explain some two or three teas, yeah. why it is important to have these kind of teas so that our viewers can understand that tea is not just 
anything you don't just go for any concoction of leaves mm. uh, and take it it could be fake like this specific uh, tea we are, which is organic present times it's made of uh, seeds which is, has phenol seeds uh, yeah, flowers it has smell smell of some seed yeah, yeah it has nice. uh, it has a, a plant uh, a root which is called uh, licorice it's uh, some people know it as uh, licorice so it's it's a combination of so many teas that are good for your body good for health good for health benefits what what is the benefit i'm now the, taking this the benefits i'm going for, to live for 100 years or what no it's good for digestion digestion yeah it's so good for digestion if you have like a heavy meal it's, it digests you well and it's good for 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 sleep there are a lot of gastro diseases yes that's why you get this ulcer reflex because of this the oil we use the the food we eat but this tea it kind of uh, tea is the kind of uh, calm your gut like it helps your gut to function well like it fights uh, the bad pathogens the bad, the bad bacteria, bacteria yeah. and so this has good bacteria as well it has there yeah this has a good bacteria some some not all the all the teas but some have like the one made for gut it's also good for the bacteria and because tea is food mm. okay and we have a lot of food born diseases yeah about 50 million people in the world fall sick every day every every year because of this so i think what you're saying is that keep tea as part of your routine but good tea good teas it will help but i have seen that i am taking this tea here mm. no sugar no honey can and you speak to good. us and it tastes good mm. can you speak to us about tea and honey and sugar to ensure that we're doing it right do we need to add and how do we add mm. how do we use honey for example you this this kind of teas you don't need to add add any sweetener or any like sugar or honey because uh, first of all if you put sugar then you're killing the teas all the benefits uh, you're just killing them because no you're making it sweeter you. you can't kill something by making it sweeter sugar is not good for you it's it's not healthy to drink sugar anything processed it's not good for you and uh, it's not because sugar is it's bad if you pick a sugar cane and you eat it nicely or like natural the natural sugar the natural sugar it will not harm you if you pick a banana and eat it to no harm you but if you get that banana process it and eat it it will harm you to harm your body so, so that's you're why saying that your teas <clears throat> is good to take tea without sugar or honey but there's this practice mm -hmm. I, I was checking somewhere on the net and i saw that when you put honey in hot tea it becomes poisonous detox yeah it, it, it talks it becomes toxic so we could be body. falling sick by because putting because of the honey of honey in, honey hot, in tea. hot teas or hot milk or hot anything because we are told honey is healthy you can take honey anytime but no it's not true honey should be on the certain temperature of the, of, the, of the any drink you're going to drink it or you can take it alone because if you mix it with hot things then you're killing it so but i can put honey in my cold tea i wait for the yes. tea to cool you, you room temperature you can put your honey and you can enjoy it in that way you can scoop a, 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 a spoon of honey and you enjoy it in that way but but how come we go to the big hotels and all these places and you ask for tea mm. and then they ask you with honey you say yes they don't tell you they don't tell you because maybe don't they don't know or you don't know but if you notice if you have noticed if you put the honey in the hot uh, beverages it becomes like uh, breaks up it breaks up yeah yes. I, I notice it yeah that's that's the, that's the first thing where you know that uh, the, what you think is not good because already that shows that uh, you just killed everything. But Lydian, you didn't take your, your tea. Uh, I'm Is taking tea. You, you, you don't <laughs> take on the. Because no. <laughs> people need to confirm that what you're saying is actually you do. Some people say, do as I say, but don't do as I do. Okay. Yeah. Now, so I am still talking about mm. the honey. We already have issues with fake honey. Somebody was telling me that. A lot of the cases of diabetes that we have actually caused by consumption of honey. We're running away from sugar because we want to avoid diabetes and going mm. right into another trap of fake honey made of syrup, molasses, and so on. Molasses what do you have to tell us about the fake honey? Your experience? If you get the honey and you mix it with milk, you see that uh, break it to be instantly. Like that's when you know that there are some molasses, there are some colors and whatever they put just to maintain to make it look good and some put also sugar in the honey 
So in a way, we are running away from the problem, but we're finding it uh, like... They say that you're jumping from the frying pan to the fire. To the fire, yeah? indeed, exactly. It's, so so you're saying that <clears throat> whereas we have had tea since I think uh, 2000 BC or something, thousands of years, mm. and we are consuming, like I have said, more than 3 billion cups of tea. This is part of our way of life. What you're saying is that tea has become a vehicle that is killing us without our knowledge. Because of one, the fake teas we have on the market, and also our lack of knowledge of, the teas, yeah. of how to. So what do you as House of Instant tell us in the way we should be handling tea to be able to get the benefits? What is that that we should do? That one or two things. Packaging, number one. The Packaging. way you have to keep it, like uh, the way you store, the yeah, tea. how the tea is kept and how how, how it's stocked. That's uh, the most important thing, because even if it's good tea and you leave it in what open about the place, source? How can I ensure? How mm. can I know? Because now I've been to House of Instant, I see your your ethics and so on, so I can trust the source. Mm. <laughs> the vendor must have a trusted source for the tea. And then me, I trust the vendor. So, do you think that we need to pay special attention on where we are buying the teas? You're talking about storage here. But we have teas in the supermarket, they are exposed to heat. Yeah. I mean, an enclosed place, but I can see there is air, air conditioning. I can see the special packaging. How do you tell that person who has got to still go to the supermarket and buy tea on the shelf? Maybe it's near Omo, it is near... Don't you think that uh, maybe we should have um, a call for action from the top to the bottom? You can't leave it to the consumer, from government, from the city authorities, from the manufacturers, and then with the consumer? Yeah, I think uh, we need to pay more attention on uh, where we get our teas and how they are, like, uh, how they are prepared and how they are kept in a way, so I think we should put more energy and put more focus on it. How we more focus. There's yeah. also another thing that I have uh, noticed in packaging. Mm. We have a lot of tea bags. Again, I was say, seeing online mm. that these tea bags are dangerous. I think they have chlorine, they have... They do. And yet, <clears throat> to be affluent, if somebody visited your home and, and you served them tea in some container, and you don't have a tea bag. The, 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 the feeling is that maybe you have not arrived. Yeah. Tea bags are a modern I expression. Eat. Yeah. And you know. Quicker, the way they think it's quicker. So what is wrong with these tea bags? It, like you said, it's it's no it's no healthy. The way that the bags they are they are they are. The material of material the tea bag of the has a bags, problem. It ha is the one that has a problem actually. It's the one they use for coloring it, for making it. It's not a natural thing to make it white. That's why they use chlorine. That's why they use all sorts of... of, of uh, so of you order for tea and they serve you with chlorine? Yeah. There is chlorine in those bags to make it white. Some, of course, some, if it's no organic But chlorine paper. we used to put in the swimming pools, we swim. And we are not drinking the water. Now we are drinking the chlorine in the tea. In the tea. Yeah. So, so do you think that this innocent beverage uh, that has won the hearts and minds of, of the world population. Do you think we could blame it on uh, greed? Why is it that we are adulterating it and killing it? And it is so good, it has health benefits, like you said. What has happened to humanity? Why are we doing this to ourselves? What's our problem? I think it's a lack of knowledge. That's what lack I could call it. Yeah. We are not uh, told, we are not educated about, that, uh, about it, in a way. That uh, some do it because of not uh, wanting to kill themselves, but because of not knowing what they are uh, consuming. So Is I think it should be more of uh, teaching people what kind of things they are, and also people educating themselves about it. Do your own research in a way. If you're not helped, at least help yourself. But I think way. the problem also mm. is that you, the people with the knowledge, you're hiding here in a little corner, making your money and leaving us to die. No. To, to, huh? We are trying also to help by by marketing, by, by, by now, talking you're, you're to you. Speaking now. Yeah, we have also done it before, so we are trying to help people and help ourselves, of course, 
in that to, way. To understand. Yeah. Uh, we're going to take a break. I'm going to request, uh, this is a family business. I have seen your husband around. I have seen that you're also uh, dealing in coffees. It's not just tea that has issues. Mm. So uh, I would request that uh, for the next segment, mm. uh, I speak to your husband if he's around, and then he can also share some information sure, unless no he allows you to continue <laughs> no worries he can, he can uh, jump in here okay we are back with the third segment uh, of this league of the genuine conversation quite interesting here in the house of instant i have actually been taken to school i have learned a lot i hope you have learned as well about counterfacing tea but which we actually cause ourselves so I am here in the house of instant it's a family business uh, as I promised uh, we are joined by the managing director the husband of Lillian uh, mr. I want to call you Wakanda Wakanda for because life. you're called yes. Wakanda yes. Murima you for life for life yes you see this is very very interesting why what inspired what inspired this um, this business, because for many African business people, entrepreneurs, traders, they are, they are comfortable just to import and sell. Why are you creating something new, something African here, something original? What inspired you? Well, traditionally, Uganda is, uh, uh, I think, uh, one of the high consuming, tea consuming country, uh, traditional tea. And uh, uh, we only know the tea that is grown from the farms that we grew up seeing. And um, and what's wrong with that? Why do you want to disrupt? Yes. We are okay with our tea. You are okay with your tea? Why, uh, why your tea? Me, I grew up drinking the same tea. Yes. And uh, it's not bad tea. It's a good color in uh, hot water, but uh, I don't benefit in any way. So what inspired us is uh, uh, during the time of COVID, you know, everyone was looking for any remedy that can help uh, to cure and prevent. And uh, we same time had gone into coffee and we thought that it was a good idea to find a good way of uh, joining the tea Habbo, which is a loose leaf, together with the coffee, and then has... So you are inspired to make these teas to fight COVID? We are inspired by uh, the bodies willing to have benefits, many benefits. And uh, through... Your wife said you researched on the benefits. And yes, so we only found out that, you know, the benefits could be found in the plants, natural plants. The spices, which are natural, ginger, um, lemongrass and other things the spices. cranberry I'm, I'm now a fan yes, of cranberry like, tea uh, we have uh, spices that uh, uh, you'll find in masala tea which is called uh, cedamon cardamom uh, so many spices that are good for our bodies what's your target market because it looks like you you see the the kind of uh, even the way i take the tea i'm now a brewer you saw me brewing Yes. Uh, before, is this for a certain class or it is think, accessible uh, to anyone? I think everyone wants to live longer. No one wants to die at early stage. The youth, they must drink this tea <coughs> to stay healthy. The elderly should drink this tea. But Wakana, we are having uh, a situation now yes. of high commodity prices. And I know that um, the world prices of tea increased. Mm. from March 2020 by about 50 percent. How are you in this business trying to even out the issue of price seeing as one is one of the main drivers of counterfeiting? Now uh, these things as I told you these are natural plants. Mm. So they should be cheap. They are grown. They are freely grown everywhere in the bush. Mm. No high costs. No cost at all of maintaining those farms. These are bush, this bush. So you can give your teas so for pick, free. We pick, we pick can have free teas. teas. What mm. we charge for is uh, that knowledge to make the different plants be something that can prevent certain diseases. The processing is what, what the you charge for. Yeah, that's the cost. We charge just for our time. 
Yeah, just run me through. For example, this, I don't know, you, you, this is how much? I want to buy this. How much is this? It's 2,000 shillings per gram. How many grams are these? Uh, approximately, there must be maybe 20, 25 grams. So that's about About 50,000. And so. the benefit of these teas, you see, like the way you see, the way they're infused, they, um, you keep on adding hot water because they open up. These are, tea, these are plants, frozen and dried, but they open up. When you Once apply they the up, water. They mm. need more hot water. So the two grams can give you 10 to 15 cups. So on the long run, you benefit. It's cheaper to drink herbal teas, loose leaf teas, than normal teas, which we buy in a tea bag. The color tea. We are wallowing in a lot of ignorance when it comes to tea. Yes. Because when I came here, I was very ready to fire uh, several questions to you guys based on counterfeiting of tea from the outside, not in our homes. Yes. I'm just learning from here that actually the faking is taking place at home. Yes. Now, what do you think we need to do? Um, special attention. Why should we flash the, the light? Um, the consumer, the manufacturer, the distribution channel, the supermarkets, the what should we do? Because we need to have a solution. This program is supposed to help us. The consumers today have a right to know what they are taking. Yeah. Consumer and right, they, yeah. yeah they, would, they would love to know. Uh, because everyone is minding about the, ben the health, their health. And uh, uh, what I advise uh, the consumers is that take something fresh. Something that is, uh, whether it's coffee, fresh roasted coffee. Tea, which is a fresh, freshly picked, uh, cleaned, frozen, and dried. This is fresh. Something, something. But the consumer fresh. can't know, uh, Wakana. There is a lot of. Uh, <coughs> they mix. I don't know some herbs. They mix grass. Yeah. They mix. So the poor consumer, they, and they all look. They are all leaves. Do we need to strengthen something at the grassroots, yes, like think, the extension, think, or something? I think there is a need. Uh, to give as much information as possible uh -huh. what is packed in that particular product. Uh, what have you put in that product? Um, when was it processed? When was it packed? When uh, does it expire? Uh, when should you take it? And then, um, everyone has access, most of people have access to, to internet put information there so that they can read. And House of Instant has started today. You've, you've, you've come onto the program and you're saying this is a starting point. Yes. We cannot leave everything to you and say because you have knowledge. You basically are saying everybody and most of us take tea. Everybody must do something about this. Okay, let's branch into coffee. Mm. <clears throat> Lillian was explaining the reason why you must have the tight sealing of yes. tea. But I am sure many of the viewers out there, they have gone to the kitchen and they have seen a packet of tea, yes. which was opened last week yes. and is still there. Yes. And, and, you, and your wife was saying tea expires. Uh, a lot of us are taking color. What is the situation with coffee in terms of ensuring its integrity that it doesn't become fake in terms of packaging? If you don't mind, you can yes. demonstrate. I can see there is some coffee behind yes. you there. Now, coffee, um, coffee is. Uh, we also grow coffee in Uganda here. Mm. We have good coffee mm. from different regions. Uh, Eastern region, we have Arabica. The West, we have the Robusta. Even in the mountains of Renzori, where we have the good Arabica. It is picked. It is grown picked and uh, it is uh, fresh for maybe two years once it's not roasted once the coffee has been so roasted coffee can stay coffee can good stay for two with years. the farmer for two years okay. but once it has been roasted uh in this form uh can you demonstrate a bit uh, coffee once the coffee has been roasted for two years yes once coffee has been roasted mm. this is a process that takes about 15 minutes to turn the green to... Can I eat? Yes. 
to turn the green into roasted. Mm. Now, once the coffee has been roasted, there is a, a chemical reaction. The breathing, like the way we breathe oxygen and the This is a dioxide. living thing. This is a living thing. It breathes out carbon dioxide and it breathes in oxygen. Now, once you pack it on the shelf, to, for the shelf, and they put it in a bag, a tight sealed bag, for example, like this one, which has a bag sealed. The coffee has, uh, the bag has such a seal. Let us show the camera. You're saying that coffee, once it is processed, yes. needs to have special packaging. Special packaging, which is a... There's something a, there. A what is that for? It's a valve. That valve allows carbon dioxide out, but does not allow oxygen in. Because oxygen leads to oxidation. Oxy because the coffee will start living on the oxygen, and it will lose the, uh, the, the strength. And then you also get molds, and because then, oxygen promotes yes, life. Because when, it, when I press this bag, bag like this, I can feel some air is getting out. And the smell, and the flavor. Yes, the flavor is coming out. Yes. It's, that, that's the carbon dioxide. Let me just have this again. Let me have. So, Wakana, how sure are you that this cannot be faked? Because counterfeits have grown on the market because it's very easy to manufacture packaging. Yes. How do you secure to ensure this cannot be faked? Can somebody make this on NASA Road? Yes, they can. Everything, you know, NASA Road, they have a lot of. Uh... The technology is the technology is high. Good and for NASA, the yes. <laughs> <laughs> you see, that's all the technology So somebody is high. can still do this no. and put. Yes, you find that you know. Um, first of all, the it's a nice bag that you know, uh, environmental friendly. Uh, yes, it is packed with a, a valve. It is sealed. It has a barcode. It has a, you can scan and talk about pollution, but most importantly, it is a coffee from organized farmers under one umbrella. So these farmers put themselves together, these farmers they grow good coffee, they, they uh, practice the, the... Do you go to the, to the farms, the coffee farms, to check the, the farming practices? Because we, we have a lot of fakes in coffee as well. We have coffee that... Uh, uh, has aflatoxins, you know, those uh, things which cause cancer and so on. Yes. Coffee is one of them. Yes. How do you ensure that your supply is clean and do you like go and test it and, and check for impurities, contamination? Yes, that's why we must encourage that, you know, farmers belong to a group, okay. which is a cooperative, and they, they have to follow the procedures, the right procedures and methods of farming, which are approved by the government. No using of uh, pesticides which are dangerous to our bodies. And, uh, but you can't avoid them. Of, Maybe You see the problem also. Certified. The problem organic. is that a lot of the, the fungicides, herbicides, uh, pesticides affect. Yes. So whereas they are toxic themselves, the fakers go and uh, add more fake in the, th in the toxic thing already. So it's a, it's a challenge to do modern agriculture without any, any chemical. Yes. Would you agree? But yes, yes, yes. But the, organi the organizations that are in charge of controlling that, you know, farming is organically, uh, they use the organic methods, uh, the organizations are in charge, and they're supposed to do their work mm. and be strict. And the ones that are such a product is uh, they use chemicals, it's not supposed mm. to be consumed. Can I, I made some tea, can I Very serve nice, you some? Please. Though we're yes. talking about a coffee. I'm now a new convert. Still, we can still drink uh, tea. I don't do coffee yes. because um, of the caffeine. Um, it, yeah. it is, I, I don't like caffeine in my body, too much of it. I know tea has as well. But the coffee is good. Even the caffeine, sometimes you need it. Mm. Yes. It's, it's a scientifically proven that uh, not too much consumption of caffeine, but uh, a good amount can help on uh, blood flow. So you are... Blood circulation. Blood circulation. So you can fight clots and all these things all when you take... And, and uh, heart attacks and, uh, and uh, uh, high pressure. You will not be 
exposed. But on condition that you're taking the tea. genuine yes. tea, not this too much of color the, water that we, we are taking as tea. Too much of everything is poisonous. And then again, you take good coffee. Find some coffee that is freshly roasted. That's what you should take. There is something that um, intrigues us here on this platform. Everything has got external factors uh, that affect it. I know we've been talking about effects of making tea at home and so on. But things like weather, mm -hmm. these days it's, it doesn't shine. Things like weather, things. <coughs> uh, how is climate change contributing to effects in coffee, in tea? Yeah. It is a process, the amount of the, the time. Let's suppose, let me give you an example. Mm. The time to dry the coffee or the teas mm. that we have picked. Mm. Uh, we have a specific time we have to follow. Now, because of climate change, maybe not too much sunshine. So, and uh, uh, the coffee or the tea will not be allowed to be out in there for drying, uh, for, for the coffee to dry properly. So, in that case, the climate change can also uh, has an impact. That means it, is a, it has been not fully dried, shorter. When the, the teas are not dried properly, that it absorbs uh, more uh, fungus. These teas, these counterfeit teas you find in the supermarkets, which are fake, uh, maybe they were not Lydia well, said they attract bacteria. Yes, they were so not we well dried. So we had bacteria tea. Mm. Yeah, they were not well dried. The moisture content, the humidity, you find that, you know, the shelf life, it does not, you can, they cannot even stay more than seven days on the shelves. And then they attract these fungus, which if you take, you get sick. That's why we use a process called freeze and dry. We pick freeze them, and dry. yes, we pick them, we freeze them, so to, 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 to preserve the, the freshness, mm. and then we dry them. So they will only open up once you pour hot water. Like you that dry much. them and then you secure the yes, storage. Yes. But, but you're talking about the drying and let me go back to the garden a bit. Yeah. Um, <clears throat> a few years ago we had a drought in Sri Lanka, one of the biggest producers. Um, and, and so the price skyrocketed. But, but my challenge is I've seen the tea gardens, vast areas that are cleared tea is the only i don't know whether it's the only crop which is grown and the land must be clear i think same with sugarcane and other plant meaning that if there was a forest you clear it and grow tea tea grows on, on mountain slopes and so on doesn't tea growing degrade the environment in in your view and and is, isn't it therefore contributing to the climate change which also, as a result, is now increasing the effects in the tea or coffee. Do you think there's a connection there? Uh, the way it's grown. Talk about yeah, the growing. The way, the way it's grown is like, a, you see, to, to, that's why they, are, they discourage cutting the trees. Tea can grow with the trees? Yeah. No, tea is a, is a plant, is a tree. I, I mean, tea is a tree. It's just a short, but it's a tree. A yeah. short tree. Yeah. Yeah. It's, 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 it has leaves, like the way I said, those leaves, they also breathe. As you know, the plants, the same thing. That's why we have to have plants in the house, because they absorb that carbon dioxide we breathe. Yes. So tea, uh, the Indonesia, Sri Lanka, massive production, they have big farms, maybe maintenance is a problem, but uh, I think it's good for the environment. Because it's a plant, it's a tree itself. It's a tree. So it provides some cover. Yes, and then even the rain. Give us the rain. Yeah. On, on this platform, we, we have identified several drivers of counterface, the things that cause us to. Um, what do you think is the big drivers of selling and, and, and buying of fake tea? Is it price, affordability? Yeah. Is it because we don't know that the teas are dangerous, uh, the concealed dangers. Uh, could it be aspiration? She was, your wife was talking about the tea bags. You see the way how we 
the chlorine which is in there? Uh, could it be um, convenience? Mm. It's easy, that's where I've always got it. It's normal, yes. normancy. Could it be negligence? We are negligent as consumers, we don't care. Many people don't even check expiry date for many supermarket pro products, let alone the teas or coffees. What do you think from your experience, because you've been in this business for some time, what is the big um, driver for you for counterfacing tea? The driver and, the, and the, coffee. The, the, for that there's matter. so many, uh, mm. there's so many, but the most, uh, according to my experience, mm. uh, on this market in Uganda here, um, so many people like quick things. They want a profit quick. motive. Yes, they want a quick. And then uh, another thing is that uh, there is a, a lot of juwakari. Everyone is so sharp here, is clever. Everybody knows. Everybody knows. And uh, once it is a loose leaf tea trending, everyone wants to jump into loose leaf tea. But they don't know what it takes or what it took House of Instant to reach to that level where they can serve House of uh, Loose Leaf Tea. Now, and uh, we love money. Everyone is chasing money. Everyone you see on the street is chasing money. The counterfeit is because they are looking for money. They are told the House of Instant is doing good. They don't know. They will come and try to fake immediately they what you are doing. It. They can pick anything. And they can mix anything. And they will do anything to get money. So you're saying the love, the greed for money is the what greed is for pushing. money and then you know, I think it's a being lazy. They want quick things without doing a research. You know, we spent almost a year doing research for this. Um, we had to team up with uh, experts that have the knowledge to do this better than we do. I might be a businessman. But get experts too. I'm not an expert. I have to look for an expert. Who is mm. better than me? Mm. Who has the knowledge to know that you know someone having issues with the, the digestion needs peppermint? Someone with uh, issues of uh, uh, high blood pressure, we need the African lemon, which has a lot of grass, the lemon grass. Mm. So uh, and then, so they don't have time to team up with the experts, which we have done not just looking for money. So you are a businessman doing the biz tea business, coffee business, but you understand that I must have we experts understand. here. We understand, we mm. understand. Because we have to, have to come up with that solution, the solution for tea and coffee. It's just like this coffee. You aren't going to understand people talking about soluble coffee. Everyone is talking this about This is soluble coffee, show yeah, it to the is, camera. This is a soluble coffee. You make it as well. And we make it as well. And this is our packaging. We pack it like this. So what is special about it? Well, everyone is talking about soluble coffee is because we have a high production, we have coffee. What is unique about this coffee? In this coffee, we have put uh, Robusta. We also, but we have also used the, the modern technology of making or adding Arabica ground. So once the process of making the instant is finished, we add the Arabica ground, the Arabica coffee, which is like powder. It is the same powder you can find in such a machine. So drinking this coffee is as well as drinking, it's a quick solution, hot water, you have coffee, it's as well as drinking coffee like this one. How do you protect this from faking? It's a good question, but uh, like I said, we have a lot of... Uh, First of all, you're sensitizing your consumers. So yes. you're telling them where to find it, where yes. can they find it? This coffee can be found at the house of instant. We have we have refused to put it on the shelf. Do you have distributors? We have we distribute ourselves. This is a product we have made for hotels. Okay. You find it in hotel rooms. You find it in offices, and we distribute it ourselves to avoid the. Because the uh, moment the sometimes counter. you appoint a distributor and the distributor is the one that's who the, the distributor <laughs> actually the does the faking. The counterfeit, the faking one. So this one we do it ourselves. The whole process. From processing, distribution, and service. Mr. Wakanda, I wish we had uh, more time. Yes. But um, um, we need to thank you, House of Instant, uh, you and Lydian, for having hosted us here. We are trying to help ourselves, help the public to get knowledge and access 
in this case, good and safety, good and safe coffee. I'll give you a chance as a Wakana, Wakanda, Stroke House of Instant, your message to the public, to the viewers um, about counterface in tea and coffee as we close. Well, viewers, uh, this is uh, again Wakana at the House of Instant and uh, we have uh, loose leaf teas for you. We also have uh, soluble coffee and uh, this is uh, locally uh, produced here and uh, you can uh, buy these teas, you can visit us and uh, taste these teas, buy them at our shop here in Muyenga and uh, avoid uh, taking shortcuts by buying cheaper products you find anywhere because you want to save money. It's not about saving money. Here we do... It's tea. about saving life. It's about saving a life. It's about uh, your health. It is about your wellness. It is about, uh, you know, enjoying even a conversation over a good cup of tea. And knowing that you have, uh, you have teas, you can always go to our website, uh, houseofinstant.com. You can visit us on Facebook, you can visit us on Twitter, Instagram, it's uh, at House of Instant. You will be able to access all the information regarding these teas. You also find our address and you are free to come and test. It's a, it's a shop, it's a, a tea room. So you can enter, choose any tea of your choice and it have a test. Thank you very much. Like they say, anytime is tea time. Anytime is a tea uh, time. But we need to say that uh, anytime yes. Uh, is instant tea time. Instant. instant house, instant coffee, instant. Are you connected to instant coffee? No, that's for another day. We need to yes. end here. Uh, this has been uh, a League of the Genuine uh, Conversation with me, your host, uh, Fred Boema. As always, uh, we have pledged and continue to give you programming that shares information about the different aspects of counterfeiting. We've had a conversation with the directors of House of Instant. Here in Mienga, we have talked about counterfeits in tea and by extension in coffee. We hope you have been able to learn a thing or two. And we would like to sign off by thanking the audience that always follows us. We'd like to thank you for uh, sharing and uh, making a date with us. Um, please do subscribe to the channel. We need your support. Uh, we sign off by asking you not to be fake to buy and sell genuine always.